Hi and welcome to another LGM Extreme Gang and Reviews. Today I'll be showing you how to use your PlayStation 3 controller on the PC. Uh, this mod, as far as I know, only works with XP 32-bit. Uh, may work with 64-bit, but I'm not too sure on that. Uh, firstly, obviously, you need a controller and you need the USB cable to the PS3 as well. Just like that. It's yeah. a tiny little plug. Uh, firstly, you'll need to download the program file from the info link on the right hand side of the screen. Now, I've already got this downloaded and installed on the computer, so I'll only show you what you have to do to do it. So, go to wherever you've saved it. Bring it to here. Okay, firstly, just go and zoom up, show you what I'm doing. You'll have something like that PS36X underscore EN. Double click that to start, uh, the box will close and open. Straight after that, let's get the controller and plug the controller in. Plugged in and it should start flashing. Now you play the program once more and it closes again. And then press the PS button in the center controller. Now, hopefully, if that's worked. You should be able to find it in your control panel, game controllers. And we've got that onto the controller. So it's plugged in. Plugged in there. Up top. Get to focus. PS3 controller. Okay. Now, just to test that your controller actually works properly, you can do a test on it. So, show you to the right hand side here. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. Got the X and Y axis, and oh, that doesn't do anything for some reason. X, Y axis, and the button's lighting up. Every button you can think of, it's there. Like that. So that's all good. Now we're going to load Need for Seed Pro Street and just, just show a little bit of a demo on that. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's just go ahead and so that. So click it. Click the L3 button. It's the only way it seems to be able to do anything with this. Get the L3 button so both hands are out. No controller. No career. Okay. So we can go into the settings. Alright, go into career. Continue career. And I can go from cards if you want. View, front out, solution, Carrera GT. Uh, there's a few of the settings that are a bit odd with this, but there's not really a great deal you can do. Like you'll move around, but you can't use the X as the enter control. And you go to that. So you still need a keyboard essentially to be able to do all the functions. And again, that doesn't work. You've got to, have to zoom in, zoom in and out, left, right. That's that. And of course, as far as it goes, that not a great deal. Now, if you go back, let's go and do a race. Now, it's a bit hard to demonstrate using the controller sometimes racing, but sure, I can try. Show us something demonstrates that pretty well. DBR9, yeah. Okay, it's load up. I'll just skip to the racing. Just loaded the uh, one of the races using the Aston Martin DBR9, which is one of the secret unlockable cars you can use. Just show it's still plugged in. Now uh, I've already preset this up. I've already set all the controls. So you can hear that. Um, it's shot racing. Um, 
I find that using the PS3 controller it seems to be a lot more effective. Uh, it's a lot more smooth and easier to play than using just like the normal keyboard settings. And then a bit of handbrake turn, shall we? And go back down the road and then go back again. Uh, it's quite quite a fun thing to do. Also I've set it up so I can use the gears manually. Go back. Kill the engine. Turning in first. Uh, fourth. Third. Fourth. And it's going inwards. Oop, nearly rolled it. Ooh. So as you can see, uh, quite easily works. Still connected. Left, right, left, right. And handbrake turn. And then you crash into some of them. So as you can see, it works perfectly fine, it's very good, very easy to use, so I'd recommend it being done. So uh, from that, I right, carry on with that. Now, at the moment, I'll just really brief in view of that. Um, obviously with the new monitor, I'm running Pro Street 1920x1080. Uh, it's quite interesting how well it looks. Uh, definitely something I won't be changing anyway, so... Of so, course, from there anyway. Do this, but, uh, it from there. So still some of the settings still have to be used by the keyboard because obviously PS3 doesn't have any proper programs from Sony. So from now, uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you've got any qu questions or comments or anything on the how to use the controller, and uh, please feel free to comment or send me a PM on YouTube. So uh, from now, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.